Hello again, this is Ryan with BedroomTattooing.com, back out in the garage, answering questions. But this time, I have a question for you. What am I? Alright, that was fun. Back at it here. So I get asked questions a lot about things, and uh, on our website, I mean, we write about as much stuff as we can, trying to keep it as approachable for people. But I always like to ask a few questions to people in the industry or even people outside of it to see what they think about stuff. And it comes down more often than not, my questions are like, "What do you think is in X, or what do you think? Uh, how is Y made?" And I'm surprised that so often to see that most people in the industry that I've run into, clients or otherwise. We'll say tattooers as well. Might as well lump you guys in there. You don't know what the hell is in your products. You don't know what's going to be going on people's skin or in it. So, simple question. We got three things here. They're all part of one product. Maybe you've read the label on this product. It's almost ubiquitous in the West for tattooing. Maybe you haven't. I'll let you take a guess. What is this? Ready? I'm going to count down from three. Say it with me. Three, two, one. This is green soap. Right? Green soap. Yay! Isn't that great? Green soap is a mixture of surfactants, which is soap, right? These are little chemicals that are going to go on and just uh, scrub, make bubbles, do all the other crap. Keep it from uh, clumping up, make it shelf stable, make it last longer, fit, like flow, I don't know, a bunch of other. We'll get into surfactants another time. My brain is just not prepped for this today. Anyways, there's ethyl alcohol, 30%, which is going to be a preservative, um, as well as something that's going to help cut. Uh, the vegetable oils that are a part of this, which is kind of funny because they, they say it's pure vegetable oil, but I don't see that on the active ingredient list. There's pure water, which is what they mix it with, which, I mean, distilled or otherwise, is just going to be some pure water. And then we have lavender oil, which is always fun. Now, a lot of people, when they get into talking about allergies and things, they're thinking about the things that maybe are coming in contact with them, like the, the gloves, right? Like we use nitrile gloves because latex is garbage. Um, a lot of people have issues with it. It's an irritant. It's an allergen. It's not friggin' good. Um, other people have sensitivities to other things, right? Lavender oil is something that causes issues with people, right? Maybe people have a sensitivity to this stuff. Did you know that lavender oil, a scent was added to green soap? Maybe you did, maybe you didn't. Have you thought about talking about this with your clients? If you haven't, maybe you should start because if they do have a sensitivity to it, or maybe even a mild allergy to things like this, or maybe they have a very bad allergy to things like this, uh, you go to use it on them, it's going gonna, it's gonna to screw them up, right? You wouldn't, if somebody's like allergic to bees, you wouldn't just like pull out a bee and give them a wipe with the tail, you know, like sting them up every time that you go to like clean up the tattoo. If they're allergic to stuff, you got to know what's in your things. It's really simple just to check. Read the label. If you don't read the label... You're not going to know what you're putting into people. You're not going to know if it's safe or not. So, lesson today. This is green soap. Tell people about it. Make sure that they are not allergic to what's inside of it. Oh, I, I'm probably going to get this in another one anyways. But what are the alternatives? I, I don't know. I don't know. We'll get into that in another video. I'm running out of time. I got to go do some other shit. Anyways, you guys have a great day. We'll talk to you again soon. This is Ryan Better Tattooing. Logging off. Bye. Hey, 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 hey.